Hey guys, today from the install bay, we're replacing the radio on this GMC Sierra using one of the biggest dash kits on the market today. So stay tuned. So the 2000 GMC and Chevy pickup trucks were a really popular pickup truck. The only problem was it had a silly din and a half radio in the dash. Metro has come out with the new double din dash kit for it so that you can semi-easily replace your radio and put a double din in the dash. Let's get to it. So to remove the radio, the first thing you want to do is put the key in the ignition, put your gear shifter all the way to the lowest position, and tilt the steering wheel, if possible, all the way down. Next, you can grab onto the dash kit with your fingers in the corners by the AC vents and slowly pry the unit off. Be mindful of the hazard switch when you're removing the dash. It's real easy to break off, so be careful of it. Next, there's two tabs on the left and right sides of the radio that you simply just press down and then wiggle the radio out towards you. It'll be kind of a difficult pull, but just keep going. And once you get the radio to this point here, go ahead and reach around and unplug your harnesses. Now the radio is removed from the dash. Go ahead and also remove the air conditioner by removing the two seven millimeter screws. And also go ahead and pop off the airbag plate. On the AC, there's two little clips on either side that you simply just push down. You can go ahead and pull that towards you and remove it. Make sure that the car is off when you remove the air conditioner. Now go ahead and tuck all the wiring harnesses back up behind and get them out of the way. You're gonna have to do some cutting in the dash. So now let's go ahead and open the box, see what comes in the kit. Now, we like to save these so we can put the original dash kit back in. It's got a couple braces in there to keep the box nice and firm, and a bunch of paper. The kit comes wrapped in foam. There again, save all this so you can wrap the original dash inside of it. Now the one complaint we get about this is that it only comes in black as opposed to something else. But if you really want to, you could probably paint it any color you want. Set this aside. This is what we're looking for here. Instructions. All right, let's set this kit box for Now in the box, it comes with new brackets for the side of the radio. There should be a left and a right. The instructions and a bag of metal clip to allow you to snap the dash bezel back on. So when looking at the instructions, they don't give you a diagram or anything like that. They simply say, like we've done, unsnap the dash bezel, remove the radio, and then it says cut and remove the radio rear support shelf from the dash cavity. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they're talking about there. So this area right here is what they're talking about. They want you to go ahead and remove this shelf here so that you have room for the dash kit. So for that, we like to use this type of saw here. It makes it pretty quick. Now anytime you cut plastic, it tends to want to melt back together. But once you've scored the line, it's pretty easy just to go back in and give it a good yanking and break it out. Just be careful not to break anything that you don't want broken. All right, so now that the cavity is nice and open, you can go ahead and pull back the wiring harnesses that you removed. And speaking of wiring harnesses, let's go over to the bench and take a look at the wiring harness you'll need to do this. For this install, you're gonna need an 1858 wiring harness. The 1858 is a standard GM style wiring harness that works in a lot of GM cars. Let's go over the wire colors so you have an idea of what they are. You have eight speaker wires divided into four groups a solid and a stripe. The solid is gonna be positive, the stripe is gonna be negative. The white is the driver's front. The gray pair is the passenger front. The purple pair is the passenger rear, and the green pair is the driver's rear. Flipping it over, we have a yellow, which is memory, a red, which is accessory power, blue is power antenna and or amp turn on. You have orange with a white stripe and orange, which are gonna be your dash illumination, as well as black being ground. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and attach this to our aftermarket radio's wiring harness. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go ahead and install the side brackets onto the radio. Now, when installing the side brackets, you need to use the screws that came with the radio because Metro doesn't give you any extra screws. So make sure you don't lose the bag of screws that your radio came with. Most radios come with two different types of screws, a flat pan head style and then a V cut style. For this one, you're gonna want the flat pan head style. Now they've conveniently marked these left and right so that you'll know which ones to use. And also put an arrow on it to show you the top. So these brackets are kind of fun in that there's no like marker as far as where these screws need to go in. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you put them on loosely so that you can adjust them before you finish the project. Now once you get these on, the easiest thing to do is take these over to the truck, snap this in place, and put the bezel over it before all the wiring's behind it, and also before you put any clips on the kit. This will allow you to test fit it multiple times without having to clip and unclip it. Now when removing the dash panel, like I said before, keep an eye on the hazard switch. You don't want to break it. After test fitting it, we need to take it back to the bench and move the radio back just a hair. Apparently it needs to go back a little bit more. Now, depending on how deep your radio is, you may or may not have to remove that brace, but it was pushing our radio down and out. That's why we couldn't get the radio to sit flush. If you have a shorter chassis radio, you may not have to remove that. However, if you're having a hard time getting it in the dash far enough to line up with the kit and or it's pushing the radio down, go ahead and remove it. All right, so now our radio is sitting pretty flush with the dash. We can go ahead and remove this for the last time and take both these pieces over to the bench. All right, let's go ahead and plug in the harness and plug in the antenna adapter. We're gonna wait to plug in the AC until we get everything in the dash. That way we can move things around from behind if we need to. So I can tell you this, after installing it, there's gonna be a bunch of dust all over the dash because of the foam tape they use. So you're gonna wanna make sure you vacuum that up. Now once you get to this point, you're going to want to go ahead and turn it on and test to make sure everything works before you put the bezel. What's the weather like today? Now once you're satisfied with everything working the way it's supposed to, you can go ahead and put the trim bezel on. Go ahead and put it back in the lowest gear setting, make sure your steering wheel is all the way down. So the next step is putting the locking tabs on the dash kit itself. Now each one of these is going to go a specific direction. These are kind of T-shaped and you wanna make sure you slide these on nice and firmly. It helps to use some form of a pair of pliers to really work them down in there. I also like to give them a little extra pinch so that they're a little bit tighter. All right, so now this is ready to go into the car. Now, as you're putting it on, you want to check all the little metal tabs. So basically, you want to start at either the left or the right and start pushing them in gently. There's also two pins you can use, which you've probably already seen, that help you line it up with the car. Now, once you've got this snapped on, you're basically done. So in a pickup, there's basically two choices as far as mounting your Bluetooth mic that work really well. One up here above the mirror, making sure that it clears your visor, and two over here, making sure that it also clears the visor. Either one of these locations works really well. So if you'd like to do this to your truck, check out the Metra DP3002B mm -hmm. dash kit. All right guys, we hope you enjoyed this. Fernando. Thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, here in YouTube, and of course, Instagram. Also, Twitter. There you go. And check us out every Monday night, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time on Facebook for the Facebook Live Show. You guys have a great night. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye.